call yourself a free spirit, a wild thing. And you're terrified somebody's going to stick you in a cage. Maybe you're already in that cage and build it yourself. After two flights, a stopover in Amsterdam and a bus ride, I finally made it to Bristol. We only had really one full day together, so we rucked up and headed out to see the sights. Oh five of them. Our first stop was Christmas Street. Christmas Street? Christmas Steps. This is like little Diagon Alley Harry Potter type place. It's really beautiful. We ended up walking up those steps to go to the university. The law school is the most pretty building so of course we went in there. Uh, and then our next stop was Cabot Tower. This is supposedly the highest point in the city. You can see what Liam called a fantastic view. <laughs> but unfortunately for us it was really rainy and, and the steps up to the top of the tower were not only super steep but now super slippery so we we're all very worried about slipping. After we've been thoroughly drenched, I made the executive decision to find a place for us to warm up. We ended up finding this little cafe on a corner of the main street um, that was so warm and sunny on the inside, which is like the complete opposite of what, was it, what it was outside. And we ended up sitting there for quite some time, just enjoying ourselves and enjoying our company after not seeing each other for a month. After we'd enjoyed our hot chocolate and ice cream, we decided to head out uh, and continue walking. We wandered around the town hall for a little bit and then decided that the rain had gotten too much for us and headed home. On the way though, I ended up getting these most fantastic potato fritters with this spicy chicken topping. That was so delicious. We had a rest for a little bit and then decided to head out for dinner. We hit up this pizza place that we had seen on the way to the cafe. We could smell the garlic coming out of the place, so we knew it was good. So we went there and um, decided to get our pizza to go. And honestly, it was one of the best pizzas I've ever had. The sourdough base was oh, just so good. The next day we got up early to head out to find some breakfast at the diner across the street, but it was closed. So after an emergency bacon booty, we decided to head back, uh, but then realized that it was Remembrance Day and that some of the roads might be closed, meaning that my bus to the airport might not stop where it normally stops. And oh boy, were we right. We ended up having to walk like a kilometre or so to the next stop and then just barely getting the bus, which made for a really tearful and like <laughs> rush goodbye. But after that, I hopped on the plane with another stopover in Amsterdam back to Stuttgart. And that was my weekend in Bristol. It was nice to see Liam again. I really did miss him. Long distance sucks, like it really does, but it's these visits that make it worthwhile. And I can't wait to be back home where we don't have to get on a plane to see each other again. People do belong to each other because that's the only chance anybody's got for real happiness.